just some results, some ideas that can be useful with polynomials. Okay, so the first one there. If I know a polynomial has k real zeros, so a1, a2, and so on up to ak, now each one of those must be associated with a linear factor. So therefore the multiplication of all those linear factors must be a factor because each of those factors must exist in our polynomial. So x minus a1, x minus a2, x minus a3, and, and so on. So that's the first idea. Here we've got one where we can show that 1 and negative 2 are both zeros, or roots, whichever word they want to use, hence factorise. Okay. Yes, polynomial 1 equals 0. Hey, don't, don't be lazy. Don't just write polynomial 1 equals 0. Because you know it's going to equal zero, because they've told you it's a, it is a zero. Show at least that substitution step, so at least it looks like you calculated it. Okay. Negative two, and of course it turns out to be zero, because it works out as a, it is in fact a factor. So hence factorise, I now know x minus one, x plus two is a factor. I might actually expand that factor out to help me find the missing factor, and use the, the idea from before. So leading term times leading term, we get x squared. Constant times constant, constant is plus 5. So we how many x's? And we've got three to choose from this time. We can either look for the cubes, the squares, or the x's. Which one shall we do? 3x squared, what do we got at this stage? I've got minus 2x squared plus 5x squared. What's that give me? Which is what we want. Ah, so it's another one of these ones where it looks like we've already got the second factor. I'm just going to confirm it with the x's. What we got? Yep, now sure enough, 5x. So good, eh? We don't have a middle term there. So there's our expression. Now, now I'll refactorize the first one and make it complete. x minus 1, x plus 2, x squared plus 5. And x squared plus 5, of course, does not factorize. Well, over the real numbers anyway. Right, so the next idea. If we know the polynomial's degree n, and we go and find n zeros, then that must be the polynomial. Because you can't have more than n solutions to a polynomial. So a quadratic, maximum of two solutions, cubic, three solutions, and, and so on. And that's what I was just saying. So a polynomial of degree n cannot have more than n zeros. Some of those might be the same. Because you can have double roots or double zeros and so on. And here's one where we're saying, yes, it has a double zero at negative 7. So that just means the factor x uh, plus 7 appears twice. So x plus 7 squared. And a single or two, write down a possible polynomial. I'm going to generalise it and write down every possible polynomial. We know x minus 2 is a factor. As I just said, x plus 7 squared is a factor. Um, but it could be multiplied by another polynomial. But that other polynomial won't have a 0 at 2 or negative 7. Because if it did, say it had a 0 at 2, then the overall polynomial would now have a double 0 at 2, and we've been told it's got a single one. So I need to specify in this case that, OK, but it can't have a solution of 2 or negative 7, that Q, whatever that Qx is. Could also be times k. Who's to say it's, it's monic? I suppose in this case I don't actually need the k, because the Qx could have the k in it, because again, I don't know what that polynomial is. If I'm told it's monic and of degree 3. So again, there's the factors that we know. That's already of degree 3. It's already monic. I don't go any further. That one would only have one possible solution. Uh, monic of degree 4. Okay, there's the two factors. It is monic, but it's of degree 3. Therefore, I need to add on Oh, sorry, multiply on, I suppose would be more correct to say. I need to multiply by another factor. But that factor would have to be linear. So I'll call it x minus a. And a can't be 2 or negative 7 again. Otherwise, it'll change the double root to a triple root and, and so on. 
polynomial of degree 5? Well, there's the factors I know. Now, if it's degree 5, it would have to be multiplied by... Yeah, got to be a quadratic. Now, be careful here. Don't write it, and some people are tempted to do this, is say x minus a, x minus b. Because if you write it that way, you're assuming that that quadratic can be factorised. There's a chance that it can't be factorised. So I prefer to then just write it as, well, qx, polynomial of degree 2, and again, it doesn't have its solution at 2 or negative 7. Um, did it say monic? So again, you, you could multiply by a constant, although the qx could have the constant in it anyway. This is where I now contradict myself. Remember I just said before, if a polynomial is degree n, it can't have more than n solutions or n real zeros. And now I'm saying, well, if it does, then it's that weird polynomial that I talked about before, the zero polynomial. Because the zero polynomial is when polynomial x is equal to zero. It's zero. So the question is, what do you substitute into that and get the answer? Zero. So polynomial x is equal to zero. Zero is your polynomial. Give me a number you can substitute into this polynomial and get the answer zero. Maybe two. Two would be correct. What was that you said? Yeah, that would be correct. Yeah, any number you throw at me is going to be correct. Because it's constant. It doesn't matter what you substitute in. You get this constant value of zero. So the zero polynomial, I suppose, technically, has an infinite number of solutions. But what's its degree? Yeah. Degree is the highest power. Well, see, you could even say that zero is not the highest power because there is no x to the zero. It's zero x to the zero. So it's really weird, this zero polynomial. So it's a... I've, it's a rare question, but I have seen it. It's a rare question where they do something like, say, uh, yeah, a cubic has five solutions. Yeah, what, what's the polynomial? What, what's the cubic? Well, it's the only polynomial it could possibly be would be the zero polynomial. Anytime you've got more solutions or more zeros than the degree, there's only one possibility. It's this weird number of zero. Okay. That'll do us for today.